Are you ready for this? I'm ready. So we got asked in the comments section of a video. I'm gonna find it so you can pull it up. Um, it'll only take me a moment. Uh, do we, the question was asked, is Devin Singletary the featured back by the end of the season? Yes. I disagree with you. Okay. I don't, I disagree with you. So why do you think Devin Singletary is the featured back by the end of the season? <clears throat> You're right. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say, have a good week, everybody. Uh, no. Make sure you hit that bell for more Bills news. Jesus, that sounds the same as the last one. Because there's so many different avenues I can go with this. It's so intriguing. Yeah. Is Devin Singletary a featured back by the end of the season? Well, if he is, that means the Bills aren't doing very good. But I think the Bills will do very good. Yeah. Um, the, is he the featured back because McCoy or Gore got an injury? Okay. Or is he a featured back because some team got... Um, got an injury to their running back, and the Bills shipped McCoy there for uh, were lucky enough to get a third rounder or something. Right. There's so many different avenues that could intertwine to Singletary being a feature back. We know he can carry the load of a full season. Right. <laughs> That's what she said. But the point being is this. What circumstances are surrounding him being the full-time starter by the end of the season? I could see it, but those are the scenarios that immediately popped in my head of why he's the starting even running back. Is he talented enough to be a starting running back in the NFL? It remains to be seen. This guy is a hammer. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a very explosive four years, his first four years of his career. I think he's going to have a very explosive first four years. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't know because he already has, he's coming in with a lot of mileage already. Yeah. So, so what's your um, take on this? Well, Casey you, Jizuski, you don't think he is? Well, Casey oh. Jizuski said um, Singletary's hands are you know, underrated. There. Well, and you didn't see him do it much in college. For, I'm sure there's a variety of reasons for that, right? But My hands are underrated. Oh, God. That's what she said. Um, here's my concern, right? Um, could he be a featured back? I agree. There's a lot of different circumstances that are going to play into whether he's a featured back or not. Is he going to be a featured back at the start of the season? The answer to that is a billion percent no. Something catastrophic would have to happen at the beginning of the season for him to be the featured back. And here's why I say that. One, show me a McDermott player who was drafted not in the first or second round that started week one. I'll wait. Teron Johnson. Teron Johnson was not the he was not a slot starter. No, no, no. You can't you can't say starter in the slot. I understand that we consider it a position. We're talking about outsides, right? You, no, no. So you look at I the just guys. Love being a, yeah, you know. you, I know. And it was Justin Lawrence who asked that question. So Justin Lawrence on the um, offensive episode, okay. on the fifty-three man offensive episode. So you take a look at who the Bills have drafted, right? We say, well, Edmonds started. You're right, but who else was going to play middle linebacker? Nope. Right. Yep. So you take a look at uh, Trey White. Okay, but who else was going to be your starting cornerback? There's no, there nobody there, right? So they were drafted to start. You take a look at Milano. Milano played behind Ramon Humber. You take a look at Teller. Teller played behind whoever the hell else was Vlad playing guard. Vlad Dukas. Um, you take a look at, uh, what's another example? Deion Dawkins. Deion Dawkins didn't even start. And Dawkins was a second-round pick. So I, there's no proof mm. that when given options, McDermott's going to start the rookie. Right, but that's just talking about starting the rookie. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In all those examples that I gave, the rookie took over down the season. So, um, is it possible he could finish the season as, as the featured back? I suppose, but you also have to take into account that this guy is going to be dead tired by the end of the season. These guys no, no, don't get no, a break. No, no, no. Remember, this could be a very this could be a very Alvin Kamara ish type situation. So you're thinking by the beginning of the season they're going to hit the pause button on him and say, listen. Get your body right. Take a little bit of a break because these guys, they're they're they're, they're yeah. We've they're seen the final, timeline of the rookies. Right, their final college season starts. It ends. They immediately start training for the combine, and then they immediately start going through the draft process. Well, he they, obviously and as wasn't. As they're drafted, they go right into offseason OTAs. These guys, the rookies, get no break. He obviously wasn't trying to improve his forty. But That's yeah. true. <laughs> I understand that, and, and and we've gone through the the, the rookie timeline. There, 
they're all go all the time. Yeah. It's it's much more different of the second year player that has the actual off season yeah, to, to, to prepare. These guys are just trying to because they're trying to they're trying to make this a career. I understand yeah. that. But what Sean Payton did with Alvin Kamara was he kept him out first four or five weeks of the year. Mm. A lot of guys are doing that because he maybe he wasn't comfortable starting a rookie. Mm -hmm. Or he knew what the grind of the season was right. and what Kamara was going to be asked to do down in New Orleans. So he wanted to give him that type of a system. Right. So then when Kamara had the offseason and came in for his second year, he was much more fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, Fournette didn't get that opportunity. No. He was he hit the right out of the gate. Yeah, and by so, week 10, he was a disaster. So by having Gore and by having McCoy, maybe that is your insurance policy the first four or five weeks of the year while Singletary gets his feet wet out. In mm -hmm. practice, mm -hmm. learning to adjust to a pro game. When he's ready, maybe one of those two guys are gone. Right. Well, and you also never know how this plays out. Let's not forget Ronald Jones was a second or third round pick down in Tampa. The guy couldn't even get on the field, and they had no running backs. I mean, oh, you really yeah. don't know what you're getting when you draft. Oh yeah, somebody. Th there was a it was a dumpster fire down. There. I don't think I don't think they knew what they had. No. And and and, and Jones and what they were going down. Arians will take advantage of whoever's I down agree. there. I agree. Ronald Jones is is a is a good player for. For Bruce Arians. I can't remember the episode we talked about it, but I remember I, I was just wa random, randomly watching them. But I, I had mentioned a lot of teams go in with three backs now mm -hmm. because the two the grind is too much. We, yeah. we saw it on C.J. Anderson and Todd mm -hmm. Gurley. Yeah. Now teams start to have three backs where you have the two backs and the, and the wide receiver, third down back, or all mm -hmm. this other stuff. Yeah. But those teams that have three backs that can equally carry the load are much more fresh going into a push in in the mm -hmm. December months. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe maybe when Singletary's finally ready, Gore's they send him going. They send him packing. I Who mean, knows? the easiest thing to get a rookie involved is to involve him in the pass game, right? So that's the easiest way to get the ball in his hands. You're not depending on him reading the line. You're not depending on him reading gaps because, again, Singletary's coming from a zone scheme. Bills aren't going to run that, so the gaps aren't going to look as open. Now, not to say that he doesn't have great field vision. Once he gets in the gaps, Singletary looks great. Once he's there, his field vision and how he sees the play break down, once he's in the gap, is outstanding. He's a it, pinball, man. It, I don't know how he's going to read to get to the gaps. That's different, not the same thing. Okay, because I know I might have confused some people when I said I wasn't sure about his vision. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, if he's going to be able to read read the gaps as they open. Once he's in the gap, he reads the field great. Um, so when Bean talks about he's got elite level vision or excellent vision, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about once he gets in the gaps, he makes people miss. Mm -hmm. So... Um, we don't know about his, you know, we, we, we've we heard his hands are great, but when have we seen Dable involve the running backs he in the pass game? He, he doesn't, doesn't, right? Even though he's had a couple of backs that could catch the ball. Right. Well, now you got Yeldon, you've got McCoy, you know, Gore can catch the ball. They all can catch, but I think it'll be interesting in the first three to four games to see are any of them involved in that because you would expect Singletary to kind of start playing in that role. Yeah. It's the easiest way to get him involved. Well, we, we had talked about that. Well, that also speaks to Allen's development. Because mm -hmm. yeah. we said many times, he always oh, looks downfield. Yeah. Just take the check down, man. Yeah, ne never took the check take down. Take the check down. Never Brady has six down. rings for taking the check down. Like, mm -hmm. take the check down. Who cares? You're, it's not It's not a defeat. It's no. not a loss on the play. Yeah. Unless you throw the check down and it goes for six. Mm -hmm. But the point is this. Just take the check down. Maybe that is something that he wants to, if Allen starts doing that mm -hmm. more, I'll take then you'll see Singletary in there. I'll take second and six over second and ten any day of the week. Mm. I'll take second and six over second and ten. I think what the thing with Allen though, he he wants seven nothing. Yeah, in two plays. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. But getting back to Singletary, yeah. um, you know, I think we're gonna have to temper expectations at the beginning of the season because they're he's not going to be an important piece of this offense going forward. McDermott's history just tells us that he's not going to. Well, that's the that's the history, but it's also. We have in our minds in green that you're drafted in the first three rounds. You're going to be a significant contributor to the yeah. team, if not immediate, mm -hmm. at some point during right. that season. And last year, like I said, a lot of the parts that were there, are, there were just there was a 16 game tryout. Mm -hmm. like, listen, we're not going to win much this year. We're going to play at what we got. We're going to try to develop guys. Okay, we we didn't give Allen anything. How did he perform when we gave him no talent? Right. Imagine if we put talent with him. Well, and I think that's another fair point to bring up. It might be a discussion for another day. Just because you're good enough for a team that went 6-10 and 10 doesn't mean that you're good enough for a team that's going to go 11-5. and five, Right? You look at Foster. You look at Kroom. You look at McCoy, even. You look at Teller. You look at Dawkins. You look at you know a lot of these players that played fine. Yeah. They played well. Zay Jones was your leading receiver last year. Just because he's leading receiver on a six and ten team doesn't mean he makes the eleven and five team. 
Like, it's just, I'm not saying that those guys are going to get cut. I'm just saying temper your expectations just because you leaned on them last year. This is a different ball game now. The Bills are not looking at rebuilding around their quarterback anymore. They're done rebuilding. This is what they're moving forward with. Now it's about finding the next piece and then finding the next piece and finding the next piece. The rebuild's done. This this was the rebuild. We're done. We're, we're moving forward now. This is what we got. Say it. What? Say it. Say your catchphrase. What? Period the end. Oh, yeah, I do Period say that a lot, end. don't I? <laughs> Who was the middle linebacker that led the team in tackles and got cut? Oh, Nick For, Barnett. Nick, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nick Barnett. Um, but so again, he, it's, like, it, yeah, it's 14. Yeah. He led the team in tackle. You were the leading tackler on this team. Doesn't mean you were good. Mm-hmm. We got you on rental from Green Bay. Right. So, but a lot of people have you know high hopes for Zay or Robert Foster or Jason Kroom. Again, you just you have to look at it and say just because you're good enough for a six win team doesn't mean that you're gonna be involved in a team that's eleven and five. Mm-hmm. You know? So again, temper your expectations a little bit, especially with Devin Singletary. McDermott's history tells us that he's not gonna be involved right away. Will he be involved at some point? I mean, you drafted him to be involved, so you're gonna see him. Um, unless he's super ineffective or there's some sort of problem off the field, which, again, I've heard w- nothing but wonderful things about him off the field, so I can't really say that. Um, but the well, history tells us he's not going to be involved early. Well, we're in, that, we're, in that, we're in that point. I think this is what happens. You say temper expectations. It's like going down for Christmas, opening up all your presents, and then you got to stand behind a three-inch plate of glass while it's, all your presents are saying you can't touch them. Until July. <laughs> You're sitting there going, but I want to see those toys. It's a Red Rider BB. Are they playing? I know. I yeah. want to see it. But so as, as you in, in your mind, you're sitting there looking through the glass going, oh, I can't wait to do all these things with that toy. It's it is. so awesome it's to like watch going, it. It's like you walking through the mall. You walk by EB Games and your dad goes, oh. see the Xbox One? I bought you that for Christmas. And it's August. <laughs> you're like, what? But I, I want to see it now. Is it delivered? Amazon Prime. (laughs) (laughs) Let me check the dates. I know. So, yeah, as far as Devin Singletary, could he be featured? Guy's got the talent to be featured. The Bills wouldn't have drafted him if they didn't think that, right? They invested a high enough pick in him. They expect him to be an important part of this team. Was he the second choice, though? I don't know. I don't know. I think they like David Montgomery a lot. That's my point. Like, was he the... Was he the last one in, in, in the... You could say the same thing about Knox. Well, you could, no. You, well, you could say the same thing about... Um, you mean, were, would they have been content taking Little if Carolina took Ford? Because in the draft thing, they said, well, they're going to take Ford. Yeah. He thought Herney was taking Ford. Yeah, he sure did. So would he would have been content taking Little? Ah, uh, they seem pretty in on Ford. I understand post-production can make that look oh, yeah. they want. <laughs> they I cut it that. up for something. Yeah, they cut that up. Um, they thought they lost Ford to Carolina. They didn't. Would they have taken Little? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't. Probably not. I don't. It's, it's interesting to find out. Well, yeah. being the way that Bean's head snapped around when he found out they took Little, that tells me that if that wasn't a oh my god we got Cody Ford. That was wait, wait why did they draft Little? That wasn't the reaction. Oh, it wasn't? Of, oh I, I thought don't think it was. that was the reaction of we just got Cody Ford. Because I saw that that is the, like, wh- Why did they draft Little? He looked like the James Franco gif where he sits up. <laughs> Greg Little. That gif is phenomenal. All right, so there you go. Um, yeah, lots from Hashtag Nation. Keep it coming. We got nothing to talk about for months. We'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. <laughs> I know, right?